WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished up 263, Nasdaq up 245, S&P's up 58. Gold, gold contract down 10 bucks, trading at 2,336 an ounce. We had silver up 40, up 11 cents, 27 dollars 63 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 44, 83 dollars 34 cents a barrel. Copper pulled back five pennies at 4.45 a pound. Notes and bonds, 10-year note traded up six ticks, 108 on 130 year up five ticks at 114.22 in King dollar. King dollar down 384 ticks, trading 105, 693 euro 107 yen. 154 British pound, 124 to 1 US dollar. Get over and take a look at the S&Ps first. Bottom line, my folks, Mark, this market wants higher price. Well, I'm going to get into Tesla in a second, but bottom line, you close. We did 57 million shares. You closed up $5.90. You're at 505. First flack you're going to get is at 514. So bottom line is that uh, we got a, quite a way to go here, uh, and that's not the highs. I'm just giving you the as we came off those highs, the bottom of that bar, that's where I'm looking at. Um, and the Qs, uh, Qs did 40 million shares. That's going to do more as soon as these numbers come out. Uh, we're trading up 625 at 425. Now, 435 is where, it, to me, that you might get some flack. Uh, but bottom line, that's 10 points higher. Gold, what gold did today, gold rejected lower price at the 2404. We're out here at 24, uh, 23.04 rather, 2336. That's where we're at. Rejected lower price. You had lighter volume. That is saying we're going top side once again. And if we take a look at this note and bond market, it looks to me that once again what you had is that we got the uh, note and note and bond market bottomed out again. Uh, that would be last week. We bottomed out at the 107.13. We hit 107.20 today. Rejected that. You're at 10802. We had an auction, a huge auction that was very successful. And you know, there's buyers in there. That's the bottom line. And then we go over to that dollar. So uh, my take is that what's going to happen here is that we're going to see the dollar lower again tomorrow. And what that's going to do is keep selling, buying pressure inside the S&P. S&P wants higher price. Hold on for the ride, folks, because next is Tesla. Tesla is going to be coming out with numbers. Tesla closed at 144.61. My take is that on a, well, a couple months, you're going to 101. So we'll see where this shakes out right, right now. And there's going to be a, a conference call at 5.30. We'll see uh, what kind of white lies uh, <laughs> good old Elon Musk comes out with or black lies. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.